Hello and welcome to SB's Academy. The lesson for this video is skills tested by recruiters during a group discussion. Like SB's Academy's page on Facebook and subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow SB's tips for videos, posts and reels on communicative English and soft skills. Do check the comment section for the links of the shorter videos clipped from this longer content for your convenience. Links for the sources and references have been posted in the comment section. Links to the YouTube channel and Facebook page are posted in the caption and description box. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Happy learning! Leadership quality is one of the primary conditions of selection in a group discussion. As the recruiters are always on the lookout for a potential manager among the candidates. It's important to point out that a group has only one authorized leader and other members play important leadership roles. What is the difference between a boss and a leader? A boss oversees and supervises his employees, but a leader leads his team towards progress and growth. Leadership skills include putting aside their own agenda, ego and bias. Let's take a look at the list of leadership skills that we are going to cover in this lesson, which are going to lead towards assessment in a group discussion. Number one, mediation. Number two, conflict management. Number three, interpersonal skills. Number four, persuasive skills. Number five, group coordination. One major aspect of assessment of leadership skill is to mediate the discussion. You can have greater chances to qualify a group discussion if you understand the unofficial roles group members take during the course of the discussion and use them to solve group problems. For example, the role of the tension reducer is to resolve conflict and anxiety. While the taskmaster helps to focus the group members on the purpose of the meeting. Try to use the group's tension reducer to assist in soothing feelings when group participants feel that their ideas were not given equal consideration by the group members. Similarly, use the group's unofficial taskmaster to keep the easily distracted group members stay focused on the agenda and thus display effective managerial skills. The next sub-skill that we are going to focus happens to be persuasive skill. Persuasive skill is the ability to analyze and persuade others to see the problem from multiple perspectives. It involves taking leadership roles and be able to influence, inspire and carry the team to help them achieve the discussion's objectives. Convincing the group members to create a consensus Planning the agenda for the session and organizing the discussion are some of the major roles involved in the persuasive skills of a group leader. Reviewing the topic from time to time of the discussion and focusing on key issues by using organizational skills on the agenda points during the discussion are some of the major sub-skills of persuasion. 
Developing persuasion skills will therefore go a long way in helping you crack the GD because calling attention to the specific agenda points keeps the discussion focused on decision making. Let's take a look at conflict handling skills, a very essential subcomponent of leadership skills, also labeled sometimes as problem solving skill or crisis management skill. The panel will be able to assess who is the leader if they are good at handling conflicts. A good leader is the one who can get along with the team. Hence, it is important for you not only to prove your communication, logical, analytical skills and subject knowledge, but also to showcase your conflict management and problem solving skill. Conflict management may be approached using a variety of different styles. While these styles may differ, every method utilizes the same crisis management skills. To successfully manage conflict, you need to hone each of these skills and learn the right time to exercise them. As you may know that due to various opinions presented by the different members in a group discussion, there could be chances of arguments and conflicts. The way you skillfully learn to manage that conflict manage to arrive at a decision will earn you brownie points. The last important sub skill that we are going to cover are the leadership skills for assessment and group discussion is team management skills or group coordination skills which is nevertheless a very very important sub skill. Being a good team player forms the core of evaluation in a group discussion. Team management skills can ensure that everyone on the team is on the same page and help each team member know what is to be expected of them in the discussion. Having the skill set to manage a team enables manager to successfully lead. A candidate's ability to lead a group of people in accomplishing the common objective of a group discussion constitutes a major parameter in evaluation. Effective team management involves supporting, communicating with and uplifting team members so that they perform to the best of their abilities. Understanding your style of managing, group dynamics and what works best with your team is an important part of the team management skills. This is not an exhaustive list of parameters on which you shall be evaluated. The five part series provides a glimpse of only some of the major skills for basic guidance. There are many other skills that you may come across during your study and make sure to brush them up as well. Now if you've been reading through and paying attention, it should be crystal clear that a big pile of possible glitches are there to pop up and disrupt your progress in a group discussion. Now instead of being skeptical and wary of preparation, you should note that most of them are interrelated and try to adjust and train yourself for the contest. Just treat them positively and regard them as possible learning points rather than blockages on your way. You are going to find that nothing is impossible in the world and mastering a GD is only a ploy of the attitude you possess. Thanks for watching the video. Like, share and comment on what else you would like us to cover. Subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow the page on Facebook. For SBS tips, reels, posts, videos on communicative English and soft skills. Happy learning!